everyone and welcome to a walk down quiet streets of a historic English town. Today I'm going to take you for a walk along here, this street, the street behind me and where we're going to go down now. This is the high street and all pretty much 60 to 70 percent of the houses along this street are listed. The town is, it was agricultural and then became part of the woollen industry when Wiltshire became full of sheep and sheep products. So I thought I'd take advantage of the fact that this is locked down and no one is about. Because normally I wouldn't be able to walk down this road and it'd be pretty noisy. Let's have a quick look at the horse skeleton in the window. They often have skeletons here. And you see the pub, the Royal Oak. looking back to where we've come from. I'm stood outside the Royal Oak. Uh, that's a listed building directly there. There's also a few little alleyways that go to various cottages and, and houses. Now uh, it was I think last year it was used as a, a film shoot. I saw television crews down here. You can hear the chorus of peacocks. They belong to the court, which we'll, we'll see in a bit. Now this is the pub, the Flemish Weaver, which is called the Flemish Weaver because of some Flemish weavers that came over to escape persecution back in, uh, so, uh, I don't know when. And we'll go down there in a bit, that's Church Street. But we're still on the High Street now. And these big buildings here, I think they were part of some of the workings where the woolen industry was happening in there. They look like it to me. They look not quite mills, but factories of some kind. Now these, this is the Flemish weavers' cottages. And are very listed. These ones at the end here. This is a monument to uh, Mr. Mayo, who lived at the house behind it. And his, he was a philanthropist and politician. And his claim to fame was that he brought piped water to Corsham. Back in 1889, I think that was. These cobbled streets from reclaimed stone, I think, because they didn't bother much with all the, the weavers' cottages to make them fantastic in any way. This hedge used to be cut by some friends of mine. They have to go up on cherry pickers and keep it shaped the way it's shaped. Takes them a week.
So now we're heading back. So we were heading north, now we're heading south. And with the light breeze that's causing the noise at my back, it's just enough to play the flute on my microphone. So this is the Flemish weaver's cottages. It's hard to get a close view because of the cars. sandy coloured building on the left there. And this building on the right by the phone box, the classic red phone box. This is the, the town hall. Complete with clock. So now we're going opposite the town hall and down here, this is Church Street and some more weaver's cottages and working areas, you can see by the door above there. A townhouse, by the looks of it. This leads us down to um, Caution Court, behind me. And here's the Priory, the old Priory. That was... We had a lot of Priories and monasteries around in Wiltshire, particularly this area for a while. I don't know much about it, but as you can see, it's just a ruin. We are at the gates of Corsham Court. And this place was owned by the Wiltshire commander of the New Model Army back in 1650-ish. And this is also the home to the peacocks. And I have a feeling that Lord Methuen, who owns this, had something to do with creating Bath Art College, which used to be based here in Corsham, and is now at Sion Hill in Bath. I'm not entirely sure about that. Some rooms in here and in the grounds were um, designed by Capability Brown and another man whose name I can't think of. Now this, we've got the Caution Court directly behind me now and this is an avenue that leads to some big gates which I would have guessed at one point was the long entrance, the long driveway to Caution Court from Pound Hill. And on the left is a, a, a kind of parkland with a lake where people go and walk and hang out. An avenue of trees is quite common on a driveway.
there we are coming back out along Church Street now you can see some of the the old of the buildings and back onto the high street Like I said, the listed buildings is probably more than I'm guessing. Because I don't know how many aren't standing anymore of the buildings along this street. But this is quite a long street. This is um, with, like, the independent shops are along here. And the post office was back there by the uh, the pink and the sandy coloured building. That's where the post office is. And this is another interesting sandy coloured building. Now we're heading to um, the junction of post office lane where we started this video on the right. And interestingly we've got a, a Royal Mail van there. But Post Office Lane is on the right. So now we're heading towards kind of the main shopping bit of the town. So it'll probably get a little bit more noisy. Notice there's a channel in the centre where water goes. That, interestingly, is called the New Place because it's probably about 30 years old and they were highly inventive at naming that. But, ooh, someone switched off the sun. Well, I mean, pretty much the buildings on both sides here are all listed. Uh, I don't think the sandy one is actually, but further on, just as I say that, yeah, I don't think they are. But I know the ones on the left are. And that one. Uh, and that house at the very end there, I think that is a significant house, but I can't remember why. Um, might be something to do with the townhouse. And straight ahead, where the, I'm zooming in, is uh, Station Road. That goes to where the old station was. And also you can see the cherry trees of the old cricket pitch. There's a better view of the channel because this is a pedestrian way. Um, the water is drained to the centre. Any rain water or flood water. <laughs> Not I don't know of any flood water here. Oh, yes I have actually, a few years ago. Uh, hello to the lion. Bath has its pigs and for some reason Horsham has got lions recently. I, I've no idea what that is about. Let's take a walk up into the new place. Um, and this is where all the base, the supermarket is, the bread shop, the hardware shop and stuff like that is. 
Uh, it's not particularly notable, notable for its buildings. <laughs> and another lion. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ta-da!